What's going on? I don't know, 20 years around here where it gets to be a little much. Randy Rarick, Executive Director of the Triple Crown of Surfing. Got a lot out of surfing and felt really good about putting a lot back into surfing. Hey Randy, this is Jerry. Just wanted to congratulate you on your Lifetime Achievement Award. It's about time, huh? These guys don't have a clue. You know, my early years were formulated growing up and living in Hawaii. And it was really different being a local Haole kid. In other words, I wasn't a, a local Hawaiian. I was a, a Haole kid from the mainland, but I was so young that I was raised with local values. Yeah, we grew up kind of in the same neighborhood. Used to surf quite a bit together. He was the very first guy of our group to make his own surfboard, probably when he was about 12 or 13 years old. We were pretty impressed by that. Next. Saved message. Dolph, this is Sean. This is a message for you. I first met Randy in 1969 at a place called Makaha in Hawaii. And my father and I were very, very impressed with his surfing. So impressed that um, he was actually invited out to South Africa. I mean, I surfed the place by myself. I mean, I've gotten Jeffries as good as you can possibly get Jay Bear. That was his first trip to South Africa, and I think that uh, trip really uh, changed Randy's life and I think it uh, helped kind of stimulate his uh, traveling bug. Early 70s was a period of guys really going out in the world. And that's like when I traveled extensively because we didn't know what was out there. The whole idea was to see where could you surf. Before any of us, Randy was the guy that was, you know, traveling the world, going to surf in exotic, weird places that no one ever thought there was any surf. Go. Take a sister, then Back in the 60s and early 70s, you know, guys were surf bums, you know, considered, you know, the Spicoli, hey dude, you know, let's get wasted and, and you know, go surf. And, you know, used to win a bar of wax, you thought it was a big deal. And then, you know, actually got a shack and pretty soon it was like, wow, you could actually make a living doing this. Randy Rarick and I started in 1976 under the banner of International Professional Surfing, which was the original pro circuit. Without Randy, pro surfing would never have started. He was creating pro contests and creating the pro tour. I don't think many of us believed it, but Randy must have because even when sponsorships were hard to come by and Randy just persevered and got the job done. Way back in 1983, when Fred Hemmings created the Triple Crown, I actually said, geez, Fred, can't you be a little more original? And I didn't think it would ever grow to be, you know, such a prestigious title. It's very problematic to, to keep all the divergent interests happy. you got to keep the surfers happy, and of course the, the, the commercial interests of the sponsors had to be considered. Let's face it, this isn't classic pipe by any means. Let's go. He must think it, it's satisfying in some way. <laughs> I don't see how, but I mean, there's, I guess, the satisfaction of accomplishing it each year, and it's been a good many years now. This is the Rip Curl Pro Pipe Master Hotline for Monday the 13th. Competition will get underway this morning, 8 a.m. with round one of the main event. Every day Randy Ray gives back to the sport, and for me, he's just a really inspiring individual. He's an incredible diplomat. He created an incredible career for himself. Let's see, now what was it? He was a surfboard shaper, surf shop owner, then a professional surfer, professional movie location scout, contest director. The competition is on in the Pipe Master. You know, Randy's got a lot of stress, but I have never, ever in my life seen Randy Rag pissed off, ever. He's always got that wry grin and kind of that look in his eyes that, hey man, whatever happens here, it's just not that important because I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna paddle out at sunset. <laughs> 
Hey Randy, it's Jody, often confused as your daughter. <laughs> the team and I are so stoked to honor you and a lifetime of achievements. There certainly have been a lot. SEMA Lifetime Achievement Award, Surfer Magazine Lifetime Achievement Award, ASP Service to the Sport, Walk of Fame in Huntington Beach. No one will ever top the contributions you've made to professional surfing, Randy, because you are professional surfing. Of course I'd like to thank Randy Rarick for putting on Triple Crown for as long as it's been on. And you know, as much as I like to grind into Randy, I mean, he's done an incredible job at building something that's, that's huge and it's bigger than all of us. So, you know, congratulations to Randy for that. I mean, stuff for, for everybody. Randy, you're still doing this. Gosh, that's a long time. Still heckling me about sunset. I'm really proud to present to the 2013 Vans Triple Crown of Surfing Champion, John John Florence. But more than that, for me, you are an exemplary human being and you've been the most important mentor in my life. I want you to know that the team and I are so humbled and proud to have the opportunity to pick up your torch now. And we're constantly going to strive for the standards that you've set for us. I wish you endless days of happy free surfing because Randy, you've earned them. Thanks so much for all of the time and investment you've put in each of us and all of the surfers that have come out of Hawaii. We all owe you. Have a great night. See you out in the waves. <laughs>